But, so, uh, anytime we're talking about research, this research is going to be framed theoretically. Whether you think that the theoretical framing comes as a consequence of the data or the theoretical frame is applied to the data, it doesn't matter. There is going to be a the theoretical framing for the information that you get. The second thing that you have to recognize, and this is uh, going more to the point, is that this process of engagement is incorporated in this discussion between the researcher and the frame. Right? This, at least this is how I teach it. Right? This is, I think it's the clearest way to explain it. The quote is this, quote, engagement yields ownership over or in the project. Right? When you talk about engagement, engagement yields ownership over, control over, or in the project. I sort of like in this, you know, I hate to use the capitalistic model to this, and the, this ownership idea I think um, Freer would have a problem with, right? And I, you know, I think, I don't want to be too critical because I really do like participatory action research, but theorists can be a little sloppy in the selection of, of terminology because if you're going to say that it, it, it's a it sort of participatory action research um, evolves as a product of sort of Freerian um, discourse, uh, I know for a fact Freer wouldn't use the term ownership, right? So I don't know if I feel comfortable with the term ownership, but we'll go with the idea of ownership. When I'm engaged, a better way that I would say it is, here's what it looks like, E-N-G-A-G-E-M-E-N-T. -E so that's engagement, and here's involvement. So we have engagement on the one hand, and we have involvement on the other. And the question is, how does this, how does this really look with respect to the research? When I am engaged in the, um, the um, research, you can think of my engagement as being um, third person, if you will, right? I'm, I'm, I'm engaged in the research, but I am not a product, if you will, of the research. I'm not contained within the research, right? So there's a level of engagement with the research. So if you can imagine this, the research being bracketed here, um, you can imagine that this would be an act of engagement, right? I'm engaged with the research. I'm, I'm dabbling in the research. And that's sort of the way that it's phrased. Ownership over or in the project, right? In the research. Involvement does not yield, quote, ownership over or in the project, right? When I'm involved in research, when I'm involved in research, you can think of involvement as something like this, right? Engagement visually is something like this. Involvement is like this. So with engagement, it's, it's a distant, if you will, uh, a third person account of research. Whereas involvement is more um, a, a first person account of research. I am involved in the research, which is not to say that you can't have an engaged participatory action research. You know, there's the, the community of researchers will be divided between engagement and involvement, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into all that right now. Um, my interpretation of the distinction, sort of conceptually, between engagement and involvement is a very sort of fine line difference. There is a sense in which you have to be engaged in the research, you know, after you leave the community and you come back to your office or your dorm or wherever you're doing your research and you're assessing all the information that you have and you're compiling your final thesis, dissertation, or book, or publication, whatever it is that you're doing, you're engaged in the research, right? So as far as qualitative analysis is concerned, and all type forms of, and this is not just unique to participatory action research, you're engaged in the research insofar as you're making your sort of final assessments, right? I am the one specifically who's going to be writing this document. I'm engaged in my research. Being involved in the research is sort of participatory action research proper. I am both a researcher and a participant in the research. I am in what philosophers would call the unfolding of the process. I am there in the event, um, like really on an ontological sense, right? I am, and I'm not going to get into that, but I am in the process, uh, involved, immersed, um, and you can see sort of the distinction between engagement and involvement. They can be separate, but they are not mutually exclusive. It is not the case that if you're involved, you're not engaged, and if you're engaged, you're not involved. That's false. You can be engaged without being involved. You can be involved without being engaged, depending on what level of the research you're doing, especially if you have sort of assistants helping you. Assistants might definitely be involved in the research, but not engaged, um, and so on and so on. So there's a, there's a conceptual difference, and I think, you know, this simple little diagram will help explain the distinction between engagement and involvement. It seems like they're the same thing, but they really are slightly, slightly different. Okay, so that's the difference between engagement and involvement. I'll return to this later. 
uh, and we'll we'll put a little bit more sort of flesh on on that account. Um, the next thing that's very important to understand in a discussion of participatory action research is the context specificity, right? And this is actually really important. The concept context specificity of participatory action research. So this is context specificity of participatory action research. All right, the first thing to recognize with respect to context specificity, um, there is no, this is on uh, the bottom of page six, um, there is no unified or consolidated methodology for implementing participatory action research. This is actually uh, in uh, McIntyre. She talks about she talks about that participatory action research. Right? There really isn't um, a unified or consolidated methodology for implementing participatory action research. The the general framework for participatory action research is you have one researcher or multiple researchers um, traveling to a community, um, engaging with community members, um, selecting. Um, participants from the community who usually volunteer for the process, um, discussing some of the problems that plague the community, coming up with uh, a number of several potential remedies to those problems, implementing solutions, waiting, testing, trying again until you arrive at the proper solution, at which point um, the community is, is grateful for the um, solution to the problem. The researcher is grateful in so far as the solution helped in the construction or the justification of a theoretical model, uh, papers are published, you know, so on and so forth. That's 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 the best allegiance, right? Uh, the participant researcher gets something, the researcher participant gets something. Um, and what's important is that, in, in so far as that is the general, that is really the general methodology. Anything that you want to do within that context really constitutes participatory action research. Um, so it's not to say that, uh, and, and McIntyre is not saying that there isn't a framework for participatory action research. She's not saying that at all. What she's saying is that when we're talking about participatory action research, one should recognize that there isn't a methodology structured proper, and this is the only way to go about doing participatory action research, right? Um, the level of immersion will differ. The level of engagement will differ. The level of involvement will differ. All of these sort of te technical concepts will differ. There's no right or wrong way to conduct participatory action research, um, given we have sort of the the, the general understanding of participatory, the de general criteria rather of particip participatory action research met, which are action uh, which are um, researcher participant, participant researcher, community problem solving, collective reflection, critical dialogue, that that that. Those are sort of like the the hallmarks. But within that, anything basically anything goes, right? So um, it's not. M E T H O D O L O G I C A. Not methodologically um, uh, necessary to one format. And it's flexible. Right? It's not inflexible, it's not rigid, it's not just one sort of methodological format that has to be fo followed for every single person conducting participatory action research, you create the research as you see fit, um, provided that, you know, those, uh, those few criteria are met that, I'm, that I mentioned before. Um, the next is that each instance of participatory action research is specific to the environment and the research objective, right? Um, the research that I'm going to be conducting, my participatory action research, is going to be defined by the environment that I'm in. The type of participatory action research that I'm going to be doing, for example, I, the example that I gave was uh, sort of alleviating a community of gang violence. There's different levels of involvement that I can that I can do, right? You can have sort of uh, we're going to build a community center involvement involvement where you know the researcher goes there, find knows that crime is plaguing the community, helps to raise money to build a community center, a rec center, and by building the rec center, the idea is that the the youth will um, use their time optimally playing sports rather than being on the streets. That's one level of, of involvement, right? Um, and that, that type of and surrounding an environment will shape my research. I can do similarly the same type of research which is far more involved by saying, no, I want to go a little bit more direct to um, alleviating this problem by 
sort of in interviewing the gangbangers uh, um, and the drug dealers or what have you themselves directly involving myself. Yeah, good luck on IRB approval for that if you're a student. <laughs> but I'm going to try and do that type of immersion and really understand uh, what the problem is and try and show and motivate these, the actual uh, quote-unquote delinquents or criminals, I hate those terms, but the youth um, show them alternative strategies of getting out of the surrounding. Like two, you know, basically the same type of research, two different, wholly different levels of involvement, two wholly different levels, and I mean involvement in the in the technical sense. Um, and it depends, it depends. So the environment is going to define the research, right? It's in, And not only the environment, the level of engagement, I mean involvement is going to define the research as well.